We are well versed with the fact that Elon Musk is interested in starting a new human colony on Mars. While it is still too early to say anything about when Musk plans to land the first humans on Mars, the SpaceX boss has revealed quite a bit about how he plans to start a colony on Mars. In this video, we have all the details as to how Musk will land and start the first human colony on the Red Planet. Stay tuned. Elon Musk has a long-standing vision of establishing a city on the Red Planet. This city on Mars will be self-sustaining, home to 1 million people, and would transform humanity into a multi-planetary species. It's perhaps Musk's most ambitious goal, one that could keep him occupied for the next three decades. But while fans originally expected to see the first humans reach Mars by the mid-2020s, Musk revealed on his Twitter page that an image with astronauts on the Red Planet would more likely come to life sometime in 2029. Recent research shows the landscape of Mars is pretty treacherous. Astronauts will face surprising obstacles like dust collecting on solar panels, as well as tiny Mars rocks that have caused havoc with NASA's Curiosity mission. But Musk is preparing well in advance to overcome these obstacles by building a full-size city on Mars. The New City on Mars Musk plans to build a full-size city on the surface of Mars. This would be a city open to regular people, not just scientists and researchers. People interested in moving to Mars could pay for their flight with a loan. Once there, people would be able to pay off the loan by working on anything from iron foundries to pizzerias. Musk declared at a 2016 conference that there would be labor shortages for a long time. This city would be free to govern itself on its own terms, as indicated by the Starlink Internet Service Terms and Conditions released in October 2020. This appears to stand in contradiction to the 1967 Outer Space Treaty, which states that the launch origin country is responsible for subsequent space activities. David Anderman, who served as SpaceX's general counsel when the terms were released, suggested to Inverse in 2021 that the two documents may be set on a collision course. Musk revealed in 2019 that it would take around 1 million tons of cargo to build a self-sustaining city on Mars. Assuming it cost $100,000 per ton to send cargo to Mars with the upcoming Starship, that would put a Mars city's price at around $100 billion. At the high end, Musk estimates it could cost around $10 trillion. Traveling Costs Traveling to Mars will not come cheap. In 2017, Musk outlined an aspirational plan to send two cargo ships to Mars as early as 2022. It would then send four ships at the next closest approach, two crewed ships and two cargo ships in 2024. However, in March 2022, Musk suggested on Twitter that a more likely date for humanity to witness the first humans on Mars would perhaps be 2029. It's also possible, however, that Musk was referencing the moon landing that took place in 1969, making it around 60 years between the two feats. Musk has set himself the deadline of a self-sustaining Mars city with 1 million people by 2050. Musk would turn 79 years old that year. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like SpaceX will send its first cargo ship this year. This is because SpaceX has yet to host its first orbital flight with the new Starship. Terraforming Mars While Musk has yet to land an unmanned and manned spaceship on Mars, it's still interesting to guess whether Musk has any plans for terraforming the Red Planet. Interestingly, at SpaceX's headquarters next to the lobby, the company has two images that show a before and after of a terraformed Mars. The current surface temperature on Mars is an average of minus 63 degrees Celsius. Musk's idea is to heat up the planet's poles to release tours of frozen carbon dioxide. This would use a series of continuous low fallout nuclear fusion explosions to act as artificial suns. The idea would be to use the carbon dioxide stores to create a more hospitable atmosphere. Humans could then walk around the planet using just a breathing apparatus. The paper found that vaporizing Mars carbon-rich sedimentary rocks would release enough gas for around 12 millibars of atmospheric pressure. By comparison, Earth's atmosphere is around 1,000 millibars at sea level. Jakowski and Edwards publicly discussed with Musk as to whether there was enough carbon dioxide lurking beneath the surface. The three seem to agree, however, that the technology to terraform Mars is still light years away, at least as per current technology.
Well, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching.